Good morning. So in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, probability. Uh, the reference for my discussion for my PowerPoint is Walpole's Statistics and Probability for Engineers. So let me share the PowerPoint. I'm Conrad Monterola. So this is IE 101. Okay. First, let's define a sample space. So the set of all possible outcomes of a statistical experiment is called the sample space and is represented by the symbol S. So for example, the sample space of possible outcomes when a coin is split may be written as S is equals to H comma T, where H and T corresponds to head and tails respectively. So as you can see, <clears throat> if you toss a coin, there are only two possible outcomes. It either, it either head or tail. So our set or our sample space contains only two elements, elements, so not H and T. There are two ways you know, to write the sample space. So the first type is listing, wherein as you can see, we're just going to write or list the elements. So consider the experiment of to tossing a die. Are you familiar with the die? So it's a cube with six spaces, and then on each space, a number is written. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so if we are interested in the number that shows on the top space, the sample space is S is equals to one, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, the example here are related to gambling. So, so the, the signs of probability is developed for gambling. Originally developed because of gambling, you know? <clears throat> if we are interested only on whether the number is even or odd, no, on the same on the same experiment of tossing a die, then we'll ha only have two outcomes. The number is either even or odd. The sample space is simply S is equals to even, comma, add. Okay, so we have more complex example. Uh, we have an experiment consists of first part, flipping a cone, and then flipping it a second time if a head occurs. So for example, you flip a coin and then head, and then you need to flip it again, you know? And then if the toil occurs, so instead of flipping a coin, you need to toast a die once. So these are the possible outcome. Head, head, or HH. Head, tail, or HT. Tail one, tail two, tail three, tail four, tail five, tail six. So <clears throat> here is the illustration of the said experiment. So the first outcome is either head or tail. So if you have head, the second outcome would possibly be head or tail too. So you have HH or HT. If you have a tail, so the possible second outcome would be either one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, or T6. Okay, so another example of uh, writing the sample space. Uh, this is related to manufacturing. So, Limbawa, you are testing a product, whether it is defective or not defective. So, you're going to have three samples or three items. You know? So, for the first item, 
It's either defective, letter D, or non-defective, letter N. <clears throat> so for the second item, so the, the, the one next to the second item, it's either defective or non-defective. So on, you know? So for the third item, as you can see, it's either defective or not defective. So these are the sample points, you know? DDD, DDN, DND. So as you can see, you just follow the line, you know? DNN, so here is DNN, you know? NDD, okay? NND, one. NDN, that one, and finally NNN, non-defective. All of the three items are non-defective. So if you're going to list the possible outcomes, you will have eight possible outcomes. Ano? <clears throat> so another method of writing the sample space is using the rule, rule method. Ano? So, for example, uh, the set of cities in the world with a population over 1 million, our sample space is written as S is equals to parenthesis X and then uh, vertical bar X okay, is a city with a population over 1 million. So this is read, read, reads, this reads as S is the set of all X such that, so the vertical bar uh, read as such that X is a city with a population over 1 million. So the vertical bar is read such that. So this is the second method of uh, writing the, the sample space, you know, the rule method. <clears throat> okay, events. An event is a subset of a sample space. So for example, as part of illustration, we may be interested in the event B that the number of defectives is greater than one. Okay, this experiment not in the defective, not defective when we have three items. So this will occur if the outcome is an element of the subset uh, B, DDN, DND, NDD, or DDD. So this is a subset of the three item defective, not defective experiment. Ano? It's an illustration. <clears throat> okay. Okay, naman. Given that the sample space is T such that T is greater than zero, where T is the life in years of a certain electronic component. Then the event A that the component fails before the end of the fifth year is the subset A is equals to T such that time is greater than or equal to zero or less than five. Of course, there's no negative, no? <clears throat> Uh, in the life, uh, life in years of the electronic component. So the event is written as A, parenthesis T, such that uh, T is less than or equal, is greater than or equal to zero, but less than five. So I, I hope you, <clears throat> you can imagine what an event is. Ano? This is just a subset of a sample space. So, in Bawa, further examples, um, we have uh, the tossing of a die, no? So, the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as we have illustrated before, no? So, an event would be uh, the set wherein uh, 1, 1 is the result of tossing a die. So, that's an event. It's a subset of the sample space. <clears throat> complement. So the complement of an event with respect to S is the subset of all elements of S that are not in A. So we denote the complement of A by the symbol A prime. Sorry for the... <clears throat> this is supposed to be A prime. You know? I'm going to check. Well, I'm prime. So for complement of A, A prime. So let R be the event that red card is selected from an ordinary deck of 52 playing cards. Are you familiar with uh, playing cards? Yung meron Jack Queen King. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jack Queen King. So uh, it contains four suits. You know? The heart, the flower, the spade, and the diamond. You know? 
So two of the suits are black, the flower and the spade, and two of the suits are red, the the diamond and the heart. No. So let R be the event that a red card is selected or picked from an ordinary deck of fifty-two playing cards. Because it's about thirteen times four is fifty-two. No. And let S be the entire deck. S means it's the sample space. You know? So then R is the event that the card selected from, this is R prime. Then R prime is the event that the card selected from the deck is not a red card, but a black card. Edit this. Basta, basta, this is R prime. You know? And that, uh, that one is A prime. Okay? So just... Uh, please, ano, this with your note. Ano? <clears throat> so, complement is, ang kanyang symbol ay may prime. Ano? So, for example, the complement of event A is A prime. The complement of event R is R prime. <clears throat> intersection. So, the intersection of two events A and B, denoted by the symbol, parang inverted U, ano? A, intersection B, is the event containing all elements that are common to A and B. So for example, in the tossing of a die, we might let A, this is an event, you know, be the event that an even number occurs, and B, the event that a number greater than 3 shows. You know? Then the subsets uh, A is equals to 2, 4, 6, and B is equals to 4, 5, 6 are subsets of the same Sample space S is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So note that both A and B will occur no, on a given toes if the outcome is an element of the subset 4 and 6, which is just the intersection of A and B. <clears throat> okay. So when, when you when you write Alimbawa A intersection B and A is equals to 2, 4, 6, and B is equals to 4, 5, 6. So as you can see, the common element of set A and set B are elements 4 and 6. No? So the intersection of A and B is simply 4 and 6. Ganun lang naman, di ba? This is quite simple. You know? medyo, medyo ginawa lang complicated nung example. Pero I, I, I hope you get the gist of the definition of intersection. It's just the common elements on two sets. Union. So the union of two events, A and B, denoted by the symbol A, parang letter U, ano? Union B is the event containing all the elements that belong to A or B or both. So for example, uh, let set A be equal to A, B, C, and let set B equals to B, B, C, D, E, then A union B is simply equal to A, B, C, D, and E. So basically, pagsasamahin nyo lang lahat yung elements ng A and B. Pero syempre, you just, you're just going to mention it once. Kasi ganun naman yung, that's how we write the set, di ba? We just mention its element once. It's not since, diba, dalawa yung B, you're going to write A, B, B. So that's not proper. Ano? So you just write A, B, C, D, E. Because these elements, A, B, C, D, E, you can find them on both A and B. Okay, so let's do the circle uh, exercise. Okay, so first we have a circle, then we have numbers. Enough. So what is A union C? So just mention all, all the elements no, contained by circles A and C. So yun, if you're going to start with one, two, three, four, five, and then seven, no? Ito, ito lahat. Ito, no? 7, 2, 1, 7, 2, 4, 1, 5, 3. These are the element on A and C. Uh, B prime, intersection A. So pag sinabing B prime, it's outside of B. Ito yon 7, 4, 5. You know? Tapos intersection with A. So the, the only one that is left, no common with A, is only 7 and 4. Or 4 and 7. A intersection, B intersection, C. So what is common uh, on circles A, B, and C? So it's only one. Di ba? Ilang. 
one is a member of circle one, one is a member of circle two, and one is also a member of circle five. So ganun yung ano, A intersection, B intersection, C. Ano? <clears throat> and then finally, first you get the uh, union of A with B. No? So yun yung first step. So limbawa ito, ano? So yan, yung, yung 7, 2, 4, 1, 6, 3. Then you get the intersection with, I think this is C prime, ano? So C prime nandoon dun sa labas. So matitira na lang is 7, 2, 6 or 2, 6, 7. Diba? I hope you get this, ano? Okay. So that's it. That's the end of chapter 1, probability by Walpole, ano? Uh, probability and statistics for engineers. So see you on the next video. I'm going to leave you with some exercises. Please answer the exercises. Bye-bye.